welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing The Fantastic Creatures by The Magical Lit Joy. Now if you've watched my other Lit Joy unboxings, this is actually my friend Lisa's and she sends them to me to unbox on here because she thought it'd be, she thinks it's really fun that I unbox these on here. She gets no spoilers though because obviously she won't watch the video until she looks herself but she's actually sat downstairs whilst I'm filming this so she'll probably look at this straight after so she can watch the video when it goes live. One day hopefully I'll be able to afford these boxes but I am enjoying unboxing these. I think this is the third one I've unboxed at the moment on here or all together and I am finding Lit Joy really really good. I do like what comes in their boxes. I love Fantastic Beasts, Magical Creatures, you guys that have been with me for a while know this so I am really excited to see what's inside here and what magic awaits us inside so if you want to see just as much as I do what is inside the literary crate for this box of fantastic creatures I'm getting tongue-tied then keep on watching and if this is the first time you've seen my face hello and welcome to my channel if you love anything to do with Harry Potter this is the place for you hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. Massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video, along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. But enough of that. Let's unbox this. First things first, the artwork is gorgeous. Look at that moon calf and that sweeper. And I'm assuming that, is that a niffler? It's a niffler. I thought it was a demo guys at first. It's not, it's a niffler. It's got a chain, must be a niffler. It's not a demo, guys, it's a niffler. It's all about, it's a niffler. Batricles. Oh, look, we've got Queenie and the Thunderbird. Oh, days, what is that called? What is that called? I'm having a moment. A rump, a rumpant? Is that what it's called? Oh, my days, I can't remember what that's called. And obviously, we've got Jacob there. And he's got a niffler on his head. And then round here, we have got Tina with an alchemy going into a teacup. There's the Demo guys, and then a Niffler up there as well. And then we have got the Zawu on the back there. This box is beautiful. The artwork on these boxes is lovely. But enough of that. This is taped. Bear with me. First sneak peek. Oh, look! It's new. Done the Kelpie. Beautiful. Let's have a look. Okay. Now, I'm still not 100% how these work. She said there's add-ons in there. If I can't figure it out, you'll have to help me in the comments. So we, I'm assuming this is, quick look, cheat sheet, cheat sheet. Right, oh, let's have a look. So the first thing I'm pulling out is some socks. These are obviously a sort of replica of Newt Scamander's scarf in the form of socks. I'm going to take them out, Lisa, and I'm going to have a look at them so that we can have a feel of the quality Let's feel, they're soft, they're very soft and they feel like that material that's not too thick but it's that material that keeps your feet warm. If that makes sense, it's not too thick but it's the material that keeps you warm. They do feel very good quality actually and then obviously on here we've got Lit Joy as well. That's on your toes. But yeah, they're quite cool them. I haven't got a Newt Scamander scarf, it's something I do need. I do need a Newt Scamander scarf. Right, oh I'm... There's something fluffy in here. Okay, so there is a niffler. This is super soft. This is super soft. And there seems to be something in his pouch. We've got a little bag. Let's put you down a minute. What you got under your chin? Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Let's have a look in the pouch if I can get it open. Untie it. And then pull it open. There we go. Okay, so we have got <coughs> a spell. Expelliarmus Disarming Charm. So there we have it. Look at that. That is a really nice design. It's a really nice coin. And then on the back, there is the wand movement for the spell. That's really nice. I've got a thing about Wizarding World coins. And this this is a very nice coin looks like is it two of harry's what is it harry and ron's wand i don't know but that it's really nice design i do like that and then yeah that on the back again i do really like that that's really nice let's have a look at the niffler now 
That is cute. <laughs> that is really cute. Oh, bless him. Oh, he is. He's really cute. I love that he's got a little pouch that you can just put your coin back in there. You have your coin back. I would say we'll name you, but that's Lisa's job. Lisa's going to have to name you. Okay, going back in. There's a box. I've got a feeling this might be an add-on. I've got a feeling it's an add-on. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. These boxes are so funk. Wow. Wow. So. Oh, okay. So we have got, there's a key. And then, oh, look. You put all that on your key, the key ring key. Little niffler there. I'm sure that's an add-on. Is it an add-on? I don't know. Those of you that get Lit Joy boxes will know if this is an add-on or not. But whether it's an add-on or not, this is absolutely gorgeous. That is so nice. Oh, I like that. We'll put that back safely for Lisa. That is so nice. Right. What else have we got when she gets this back out of here? Okay. So, ooh. It's a little trunk. It's a little trunk. Should we open it up? No, it doesn't open like I'm thinking. It opens at the side. Oh, Susie. Let's have a look. Oh, my days. I have not seen these for years. So we've got a Thestral. And we all know what these do. It's them. Is it the Russian dolls? And then obviously we've got a... Oh, okay. So we've got a moon calf. Okay. 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 So let me show you the Thestral again. And put his body back on properly. Come on. There we go. So, Thestral. That is a really nice painted Thestral on there. And then, oh, this is gorgeous. Mooncalf. Oh, this is so nice. And then we have got a demo, guys. Oh, the paintwork on this is beautiful. Oh, God, I haven't seen these for ages. My mum used to have Russian doll ones. And I used to play with them all the time when I was little. Oh, we've got a Niffler again. The paintwork. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is so nice. And then what's the Diddy one? Of course it is. It's a little Botrical. Okay, that is so cute. I've never seen anything like this in a subscription box before. And for some reason, there's something that I really love. And it's just been a bit nostalgic, that, because I played with one when I was little that my mum had. Okay. I'm guessing this is another add-on. I'm sure she said keys were add-ons. Okay. Oh, my gosh, I've just seen something in the box and it's really excited me. But first, oh, this is nice. Wizarding Bank Goblin Access Card. Okay, so there's a key ring there of a card you can use in as a bank card. That is such a nice key. And then you've got a galleon coin as well. Look at that key, though. Those keys are wonderful. They really are. They've, I've always thought they're a brilliant idea, them keys. But that is really... Both them keys are really nice. I'm sure, 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 sure... That they are the add-ons. I'm sure she said there was two. Lisa, did, are you right? Not that you can correct me because this video will be already up. <laughs> right, what we got here? Is this broken? That don't feel. That don't feel very good. That don't feel very good. The box is a bit battered as well. Doesn't sound very good. Is it? Is it? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Let me see if I can show you anything of this. But this is absolutely smashed to smithereens. And I need to be very careful. I'm not going to take it out of the bag. But there is a, it's a teapot with an alchemy. With a massive hole in the side. I don't know where the handle, the handle's in there somewhere. The alchemy's bum. Oh dear, what a shame. What a shame. I'm going to put that back in there. Lisa, I did not break that. That came broken, okay? Just to just, yeah, just that. But I bet that teapot, I mean, it looks nice, but Lisa, you're going to have to get in touch with it, Joy. Teapot's broken. Right, what we got here? 
Ooh, Lit Joy One Shop. How do we get in this? Ah, okay. Okay, so it says Wand Properties. Oh, I haven't got my glasses on. Horn Beam Wood, 10 inches long. Horn Serpent, Horn Core, Unyielding. Ooh. Very nice. Let's have a look at the wand. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, that's quite nice. So we've got a serpent wand here. It's quite diddy. I do like that though. Kind of reminds me of a mini staff more than a wand. Do you know what I mean? I do really like that. I'm trying to look at the paintwork. It is really nice. The paintwork's not brilliant. Paintwork's not brilliant. I don't know if you can see, but you can see where the scales are. It's black and it's meant to be this nice shimmery blue. And then the head itself, look. I don't know if you can tell. The black, look. The blue's not coming down. It's a really nice wand. But yeah, the paintwork is not very good on this unfortunately the paintwork's not very good on this but i do like the design of that it is really nice it is really nice okay what we got here <laughs> okay let me just read this a minute um i think this was free i think this was free i'm not sure but it's a lunicorn coffee cup that's actually really cool Lisa, you've got a Lunicorn coffee cup pin. That's really cool. I like that pin. It's pretty. Right, what else have we got? I'm looking in now. Oh. Okay, I think this is my favourite item. I'm taking it out of the packaging, Lisa, to show everybody. I'm sure I'll get it back in. This is so cool. It's a muggle-worthy hanger, so you could put your keys on it. You could put a coat on it. Could you put a coat on it? Feels quite sturdy. That is so nice. That is such a cool item to have in a box. Oh, I really like that. Size of that keyhole though, that key's huge. Yeah, that's really cute. I think that's definitely a favourite in here. Right, what we got left? Let's have a look. These boxes are so deep. Okay, so we have... <laughs> We have Lunicorns Live Among Us. So it's just information there on it being a Lunicorn. If you want to pause it and read it, you can. Feel free. But yeah, it just, yeah, learn more about Lunicorns at litjoycrate.com. And then we've got, I have really, really enjoyed these. I've seen these obviously, be, obviously when I've done them. And I have seen them in a few videos of people that do the Litjoy boxes. But these are so cool. They're obviously like them photo booth um, pictures. I love the artwork with Litjoy. Did I show you that for long enough? There you go. I do apologise. I'm so sorry. But yeah, they're really cool. Oh, Lisa, I hope I can get all this back in the packaging for you. This is cool. So we've got Newt Ademi guys. We've got some Nifflers, a Fwooper, his case. The Niffler down there has obviously got some jewels because it's a Niffler and it's what they do. I do love that artwork. Oh, and an Okami. How did I miss the Okami? It's the biggest thing on there. Very nice. Let's read this then, shall we? Let's have a read. We've got the Expelliarmus collectible coin. Very nice. The Okami teapot. It would be nice. It's broke. Plush Niffler. That is cute. That is really cute. It's cute. It's cute. What else did we get? It's like a magazine, this. I like this. Nagini wand. Nagini... Did I miss something? She didn't say Nagini wand. But it's Nagini wand. Let me read that again. No, serpent horn. No. So, Nagini wand. I like it. It's just the paint works a bit mm, for me. Then we've got the photo newts suitcase strip. I do like them. I think they're an awesome idea for a photo booth. I haven't got it back in the packaging yet, Lisa. Don't worry, I'll get it in. Newt scarf socks. Really like that idea. That's really cool. Um, and then, oh, the nesting dolls, obviously, Russian doll, that's what my mum had, Russian dolls ones. They're really cool, I do like them, that was a really cool idea. 
a fantastic creatures theme art print really like the art again love it and then you've got yeah featured add-ons the wizard's bank key and the kowalski bakery key so yeah they're really really cool what did i think to this box what did i think to this box as a whole what I liked is there was quite a lot of different items in here that you don't normally see. I mean, I haven't seen anything like this before and I do actually think that's a really cool item. It's something obviously that can be displayed, but it's also a practical item too. And I do like to see that. These things, oh my days, I'm not gonna be able to pick them all up. Right, we'll leave it at there. I've picked three up, Um, you got five in total. These are amazing. And I really do like these. I don't know what people would think to them, but I personally really like them. The artwork on them is absolutely amazing too. I think they've done a really fantastic job. Um, the add-ons, the keys, they're beautiful. Um, the wand's really nice. Again, I'm just a bit mm, with the paintwork on that. The stocks were an amazing idea. The teapot, I'm a bit gutted for you, Lisa, because it looks like it would be really nice, but unfortunately, it's broke. Um... The Niffler, I will say, I do like it, but it doesn't massively give me Niffler feels. I'm, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his nose because they, they tend to be longer. I don't know what it is, but it's not giving me massive... Mine looks really angry. He's ang Why are you angry? Have you not... I, is it because I took the coin out of your patch? I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm not feeling that Niffler... That niff, I'm not feeling Niffler with it as much. He's cute, but I'm not feeling him as much as a Niffler. I do apologise. You are cute and you're so fluffy. But yeah, so I've kind of got mixed emotions about this box. There are items that I really like. There's items I'm a bit sort of unsure of. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Overall, I do like it. I'm making no sense. I'm just, I don't know what I'm saying here. I do like it. I do like... I think I like more of the items than the ones that I'm a bit unsure of. So we'll say that obviously I have enjoyed unboxing it. I'll tell you that. Favourite item would have to be the nest um, Russian doll things. The nest things. Yes, them. Um, and I'm going to have to say this as well. I think the teapot would have been a favourite if that wasn't broken. Because it is really cool and it would look really cool displayed that on you, on, if you've got a fantastic bee shelf. But yeah, what did you think? I'm definitely going to say the nest of creatures and the um, muggle-worthy thing. I really like them. I'm going to say they're my favourites. But let me know what you thought were your favourites. Let me know what your least favourites were. Did you enjoy this box as a whole? Let me know in the comments. You know I love it when you talk to me in the comments. But yeah, that is the end of today's video, guys. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. We'll see what joy brings us in magic in the next look joy box but i will speak to you all in my next video bye potter puppets